Hey guys, so today we're going to do a sports conditioning class. This is a class geared towards athletes and people of higher fitness levels. Um, it's just going to be a cardiovascular fitness and full body um, conditioning. So please follow along. Um, at home while we're all in quarantine. Um, make sure while you are there that there's nothing going to fall over with you jumping or that you have space so you're not going to slip on anything. Um, and if you have a ball, that would be beneficial. It's not necessary, but it's a little more fun. So before we get started, I just want to say participate at your own risk. Um, and if you have any pain or discomfort, make sure you stop immediately and seek help from a healthcare provider. So with that, let's get started. All right, so just go ahead and step on the side. We're going to start with just working through your feet a little bit. Get your heart rate up. Shake out your hands. A little higher knees. Okay, we're just going to go side to side. And then we'll jump it down. Body weight squats. Okay. And then on your shoulders, just opening up your chest, warm it up a little bit. And full arms. And other direction. Alright, just gonna do a little twisting side to side. And over. Scoop 
up the core, lower the legs just a little bit. Make sure the back isn't arching at all. If you need to sit on your hands, that's totally fine, but make sure that your back is not arching while you're doing that. But it's just really pressed into the ground here. If you lower your legs and it pops up, pull it in. Bring those legs higher and stay here. It's a much safer place for your back. If you can go a little lower though, let's keep your neck all on the ground. Let's go for that. Renew um, flutter fix. Keep lifting up from here. Try to relax your neck and shoulders. Pop the core a little deeper as you go. Good. Keep lifting up. Don't let the back arch. Scissors. It's hard, make sure it's not going in your back, but to keep the core engaged, turn a little lower if you can, without letting that back lift. And relax. All right, we're gonna go into some fun playing things now. So, you have your ball, it's a great time to move it. Good. We're gonna first work on something called the dead bug. So, lots of ways to start with this. Leave that to the side for now, the first thing, the knees on the ground, lifting your leg without letting that back arch, pulling with your core so that everything stays totally flat. If you can, we're gonna put the ball or whatever you have on your hips and then try to lift whoop, the leg without it falling over. Difficult, <laughs> especially when I'm not seeing it. So right there you go. Or lift your legs up, your knees off the ground. Roll forward and back. Alright, so do 10 on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Right side. Like that, straight up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Good. Try not to twist your hips like I was. Sorry. All right. Next thing. On your hands again. You can have your legs a little wider if you need to. Try to keep them straight. Make sure your elbows aren't locked. A little bend. Your shoulders are really pulling down. You're going to touch and touch each side. Try not to let anything else twist as you do this. Shoulders stay pulling down. Belly button stays lifted. Here we go. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, keep the elbows from walking. Same idea with the upper body here. Now we're going to tap around the ball with each leg. So up here, you're going to uh, bring your legs to the side and back in. Keep those shoulders and that belly engaged. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch the ball and switch sides so you can see it. Here we go. One, two, three. side without trying to lift your butt, but stay in that diagonal line. Ideally, legs up, you're going to walk to the side, push up, walk to the side, push up. Move the ball so don't kick it. All right, we're going to do 10 total. Walking, push up, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mario sixteen. If you happen to have a band or ankle weights, even any of those, you can put those on. Put it right about here on your legs. I'm going to demonstrate without, but go ahead and grab your ball. Get into the same squat we did in the beginning to really get your hips back. You're not having your knees forward, but you're sitting back in a chair. Now arching your back, pull up in your core and kind of stay at this level. And you go side to side. Shuffle. Touch, shuffle, touch as far as you can in your space. I know there's not a lot. Side to side, keep it low. Touch a little higher. Shuffle, touch, shuffle, touch. Good, stay low as you go. One more set. Good, all right, Julie. Let me see how this works in our space, but. I have cones. If you don't, you can use anything, even like your band, just cut it on the ground, or maybe rolled up clean socks, <laughs> whatever you choose. You go ahead and just take three items, put one back, one forward, one back. I'm going to go away from my bookshelf so that I don't knock anything over. Please beware of your surroundings. All right, you're just going to be back and forth as quick as you can. You can do it quicker than me. Don't wait, just keep going for the whole time. All right, here we go, stay low. Good, keep your eyes forward. As you go with it, try to smooth out the transition. Stay a little lower. A little smaller. Steps, stay low, quicker feet, last one. All right, almost there. Move your cones. Go back to our bodyweight squat, first thing. Squat down, then drive the knee up. Down and up, other side, up. Go all the way low and power it up. Up, back. Really get the weight back in your glutes as you feel it. Try and drive your knees straight and not across your chest. Up. Keep the weight even in both feet. Last one. Good, all right. Same thing, you can do it like that, like we just did. You can add a little heel lift here, or you can add a full jump. So it would be either here, here, or here with it. Make sure the focus is on that leg, driving down to the ground, using your glutes to straighten your knee, push yourself up. We're gonna go back and forth each side. Try to smooth out the transition as you go. Here we go, up, up. And you come a little quicker than the music. Keep your weight back. Try not to lean forward like I just was, but really spin your way back. Drive it up. Three more. Two. Last one. Good. And relax. Let's roll down. Stretch out our hamstrings. And play side to side. Or you can just hold it down. And roll back up. Over the side. Uh, so thanks for joining me guys. I'm doing a short version of this and a short cool down. So please keep stretching and calming your heart rate down. I'm a little out of breath. I hope you guys had a great time today. And if you want any information on more classes or getting a full version of this, um, all online from your home, please comment below or reach out to me. Um, 
by a message on whatever form this is on. Um, I'm the bar and beyond.com, all one word spelled with two R's and an E in bar. And um, that's about all I have. So thanks guys for joining me. Stay safe.